subject is God is angry with the wicked. God is angry with the wicked. That's the subject. Well, most of the reading is Psalms 10. Psalms 10, 1 through 18. Psalms 10, 1 through 18. And our background reading is uh, Psalms 9 and 17. Psalms uh, 10 and 4. Psalms 11, 4 through 7. And Proverbs 11, 5 through 11. And Isaiah 57, 21. And last and final is Ecclesiastes. 8 and 13. Most of the reading. Uh, Psalms 10, 1 through 18. Why standest thou afar off? Yeah. O Lord, why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? Mm. The wicked in his pride doeth persecutes the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. For the wicked boasteth of his heart's desire and bless the covetous, covetousness. The wicked boasteth in what? The wicked boasts of his heart's desire. The wicked boasts of his heart's desire. You find somebody always boasting of their heart's desire. Mm -hmm. Just boast. Mm -hmm. Read. And bless the covetousness. Yeah. Whom the Lord arboreth, the wicked through the pride of his countenance uh -huh. will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. God is not in all his thoughts. And his ways are always grievous. Yeah. A wicked person. Their ways is always grievous. Yes. Read. Thy judgments are far above, out of his sight. Uh -huh. As for his enemies, right. he put him, he puffeth at them. He has said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. He sitteth in the lurking places of the village. In the secret places do he murder the innocents. His eyes are privately set against the poor. He lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He doeth catch the poor when he draweth him into his net. He croucheth and humbles himself. That the poor may fall by his strongholds. He has said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hideth his face, he will never see it. Arise, O Lord, O God, lift up thy hand, forget not the humble. Wherefore doeth the wicked contend, God? He has said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Thou hast seen it. For thou beholdest mischief and spite to requit it. With thy hand the poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thy find none. The Lord is the king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. The Lord, thou hast heard the desire of the humble. Thou wilt prepare their heart, wilt cause thy ear to hear, to judge the followers and the oppressed, and the man of the earth may no more oppress. Okay, that's the devotion. Read. Our background reading is uh, Psalm 9, 17, Psalms 10, 4, Psalms 
11, 4 through 7. Again, Proverbs 11, 5 through 11. Isaiah 57, 21. And Ecclesiastes uh, 8 and 13. Psalm 9, 17. The wicked shall be turned into hell. The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forgot God. And all the nations that forget God. God, yes. Hell is in your view. Come on. Psalms 10 and 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God the is not... The pride of his countenance will not seek after God. Yeah. God is not in, in all his thoughts. God is not in all his thoughts. Psalms 11, 4 through 7. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his eyes try the children of men. The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that love violence, his soul hated. Up on the wicked he shall rain snares, fire, and brimstone, and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For the righteous Lord love the righteous. His countenance do behold the upright. All right, uh, Proverbs 11, 5 through 11. The righteous of the perfect shall direct his way, uh -huh. but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Wicked, fall mm. by his own wickedness. Mm. Yeah. The righteous of the upright shall deliver them. Yeah. But transgressors shall be taken into their own naughtiness. Mm -hmm. When the wicked man dies, his expectations shall perish, mm -hmm. and the hope of unjust being perished. The righteous is delivered out of trouble. The righteous is delivered mm -hmm. out of trouble. Yeah. And the wicked cometh in his stead. Uh -huh. A hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor. A hypocrite mm -hmm. with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Through knowledge the just shall be delivered. Yeah. When it goes well with the wickedness, uh -huh. with the righteous. Say it again. When it goes well with the righteous. When it goes well with the righteous. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. The city rejoices. When it goes well with the righteous, the city rejoices. Yes. When it goes well with the righteous, the right. city rejoices. They don't rejoice. The city don't rejoice when wickedness right. is taken over. When wicked people are in authority, yes. Come on. the city don't rejoice. Right. Yeah. And when the wicked perish, when the wicked perish, there is shout. Say it again. When the wicked perish, yeah. there is shout. When the wicked perish, there is shout. Mm -hmm. This time rejoice mm -hmm. when the wicked is out the way. Come on. Mm -hmm. right. Wickedness mm -hmm. got to get out the way. The subject said God is angry mm -hmm. with the wicked. Yes. By the blessing of the upright, uh -huh. the city is exalted. Yeah, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. Yeah. But it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. It's overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. When you have cities right. that wicked folk are in position, right. the city is not at peace. Come on here. Yeah. It's not at peace. How can you be at peace and a wicked individual is over you? Can't be. How can? Okay, I didn't make it closer than that. How can you be at peace in a place like this and the preacher wicked? Come on. Thank you, Jesus. 
Help us, Lord. You ain't gonna get nothing up out of here. No. But when the righteous rule, right. the people right. rejoice. Yeah. yeah. Breathe. Is that Isaiah 57 and 21? There is no peace, save my God, for the wicked. There is no peace, save my God, for the wicked. Save, I said again, saves. Oh, there is no peace, says my God, for the wicked. No peace for the wicked. You raising all kind of hell. Yes, Oh, for you said Cain. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all kind of Cain. Yeah. And you want to sleep at peace in peace at night. <laughs> uh, that, that just destroyed everybody's life. Just better than everybody's business. And you want to have sweet sleep. Right. Uh, your wicked self. Yeah. <laughs> Read. Please ask eight and thirteen. Yet because the wicked do not fear God. Yet because the wicked what? Do not fear God. The wicked do not fear God. Why do you think these folks as wicked in place keep on doing what they're doing? They don't fear God. Don't fear God. God will come through with a storm and everything and then say, well, that's just nature. Yeah. Yeah. He preaching. So say that. Just overlooking everything. Don't regard God in anything. All right. Don't put him in none of their business. How are you going to be successful oh, God. Okay. when you don't put God in your business? Come on. You can't make it. I'm sorry. You might go for a little while, but you're coming down. Right. Okay. Uh, the central verse says, God judge the righteous and God is angry with the wicked every day. God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalms 7 and 11. The Bible says, God is angry with the wicked every day. That good God we serve, yeah. good God we talk about, right. the good God that woke your wicked behind up this morning. Right. Come on. He still, just because he woke you up don't mean he ain't angry with you. Because number one, he don't wake you up for foolishness. Come on. He don't allow nobody to wake up for foolishness. Come on. For trouble. You wake up to start trouble. And tell my God is the head of my life. The devil is alive. I think the scripture said you was a hypocrite. Come on. Okay. The word of the Lord. Subject again. God is angry with the wicked. Look up what wicked is. Oh yeah. Give me that. Give me the definition of wicked. We want to people to understand what wicked is, because some of us wicked yes. and think you not. All right. Help us, Lord. Come on, wicked, wicked, wicked. Y'all got all these trickets. If it's kind of healthy, you, you got all these trickets in here. Evil or morally wrong. Come on. Evil mom. or morally wrong. Intending to or capable. Intending to. Or capable of harming someone. Or capable of harming someone. Or mom. something. Or something. Extremely unpleasant. Extremely unpleasant. Unpleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You wicked. Mm -hmm. That's pretty mean. You wicked. Yes, yes. Intending to harm somebody. Come on. With your church going self. Mm -hmm. Just sitting. You you plotting up. Right. How you gonna manipulate the situation? You wicked. Yes, yes. You better get rid of that before you close your eyes for the last time. That's right. That's right. <laughs> 
The word of the Lord tells the believer that God is angry with the wicked every day. Come on. We ask the question, why is God angry with the wicked? Let us, my brothers and sisters, find out who are the wicked. The College Dictionary says that wickedness describes something or someone bad, bad to the bone. <laughs> bad. And some of us go for bad. You wicked. <laughs> if y'all know God don't have bad folk. I'm, I'm tough. Oh, you here? A servant of God tough. Oh, y'all ain't gonna know. It's a lot of hope. You, you find out who you are tonight. Uh, the wickedness. That wickedness described uh, someone or something bad or deliberately harmful to people. Mm -hmm. Deliberately. Yeah, yeah. Tell somebody on purpose. On purpose. Yeah, hurting folk on purpose. Mm -hmm. Just hurting them on purpose. Yeah, yeah. You wicked. Yeah. Intentionally. Yeah. You already done plotted it before you got to that person. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Harmful to people. Wicked is also described as evil. And morally wrong. wrong. If it's not right, it's what? Wrong. Okay. That's it. It's wrong. Wickedness is wrong. In the Bible, wicked means the state of being wicked. A mental disregard for justice. A mental, mental, mental. Yes. Mind, mental. Yes, yes. A mental disregard for justice. Imposition. Over people. Yes, yes. And don't want to see justice served. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. You wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care who, what position you in, you should be or have a heart for the best interest of the people. Especially when it's dealing with people. I don't care if it's me. The Bible tells us, swear to your own hurt and change not. I might hurt you, but I ain't changing. Right. I'm standing for what's right. Yes, sir. Okay, disregard justice, righteousness, truth, honor, and virtue. Evil in thought and life. Depravity. Sinfulness yes. and criminal criminality. Yes. God is a loving God. Yes. Did y'all hear that? Yes. yes. God's a loving God. Yes. But guess what? God is angry right. with the wicked. Yes, he is. A loving God is angry. And you're you finna find out why he angry. Come on. He's not angry because he God. Why do you want to whoop your children? Something happened, ain't it? Yes. God is angry with the disobedience. That's right. Of his people. Yes. But he does not like acts nor the deeds of the wicked. God don't like the acts or the deeds of the wicked. So, he becomes angry with them. Mm -hmm. Psalms 9 and 16 says that the Lord uh, is known by the judgment which he executes. Mm -hmm. The wicked is snared 
in the work of his own hand. Your wickedness mm -hmm. is what's going to take you down. That's right. Mm -hmm. Your wickedness, mm -hmm. the trap you setting for somebody else, right. is going to take you down. Come on. Guess what? You might gain $2 from it. Y'all ain't going to All right. Yes, sir. You might get up in the beginning. But wickedness okay. is going to take you down. All the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, God is angry with the wicked because of their wickedness. Uh, their wickedness is a sign of deep rebellion against him. And his laws and his rules. Yes. When you rebel against God's laws and his rules. When you rebel against God's laws and his rules. Uh -huh. What's rebelling against his laws and his rules? Wicked. What is rebelling against God's laws and his rules? Disobeying his word. Preaching, I'm talking to myself. Y'all want me talking about he talking at it. Now I'm talking to myself. If I rebel against his word that I'm reading right tonight, I'm with you. I got a problem. Y'all ain't gonna like this. Y'all wanna smooth everything over. I need somebody to tell me and tell me right. Yes. Come on. Tell me what I really need to know yes. and let me decide yes. whether I want it or not. Yes. And if it's going to save my life, yes. I need to make the right choice. Yes, yes Lord. Yes. yes, Lord. So, God gets angry, but he is a just God. Yes, he, is. he gets angry, yeah. but he's a just God. He get angry, mm -hmm. but he's a just God. Mm -hmm. Do we get angry? First thing we say, you, because you hold it. <laughs> you hold it. Mm -mm, I don't get angry. I don't get angry. The Bible says, be ye angry, sin not. and sin not. Finish mm -hmm. read. Don't let the sun go down. go down on your. Don't let the sun go down, or don't die while you ain't. Right. Come on, right. tell somebody get rid of it. Get, get rid, rid of it. Get, get, get rid of that. You don't need that because if you die while you ain't in hell, I know y'all want to hear it. Yeah, that's where you're gonna open your eye in hell. God is angry yeah. with the wicked. Yeah. And we got nerve to tell folk that, yeah, I know y'all get angry. You, I get angry with God sometimes. Okay. How are you going to get angry with somebody that's angry with you? Mm. A spiritual being. Come on. All right. That gave you breath mm. and can snatch it any given moment. Mm. Now, if that don't sound like somebody you need to get angry with. No. I don't care what happened. Amen. I don't care which card you pull. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he still in control. Yes, he Amen. Is. I told somebody the other day, I said, whoa, 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 you got to know they was just in the box a little bit of that stuff today at the high glass place. If you need something from somebody, mm -hmm. why are you gonna come? To them with an attitude. Mm. Yes. Mm. I need my medication, so I'm gonna go to the doctor and say, "Give me my medication." I'm gonna say, "Hold on, just a minute, ma'am." All right. And I'm gonna go make you some. <laughs> <laughs> That's wicked, man. That's wicked, ain't it? Yeah. Well, you wicked for being wicked. That's Come on. That's right. <laughs> You, so what you want, what you need me to do 
Uh, what you want me to do because you're wicked. Uh, See, you want me to be good. Yeah. But you want to come at me wicked. Come on. So I ain't got no business being wicked. But you can be wicked. Come on, man. Saying something. You want you want to demand me to give you something. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to need help. Mm -hmm. My pastor used to say years ago in his teaching instruction, mm -hmm. different things. He said you would go and ask somebody to borrow some money or something. Mm -hmm. And he said, the man said, you old broke so and so old broke. Uh Nick Rowe broke something, he said. And he said, I said, well, yes, sir. <laughs> All I want you to just give me what I need. No, I call me broke, whatever. <laughs> I just, just give it to me. I'll be that. <laughs> just give me what I need. Right. Yes. You got to learn how to humble yourself when you know what you need. That's right. Amen. You don't get what you need and not humble. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody giving you nothing. You can have one of the worst attitudes there is and go to jail tonight and call me the wrong way. You need to get me out of here. Say, who is this? Huh? Oh man, I'm just got a bad connection. <laughs> No, you the one need help. That's right. That's right. So guess what? Oh, hello, how you doing? <laughs> I kind of need you right now. <laughs> and if I say, you had no man do it, just say, yeah, you right. Don't be talking about, ah, here he go. He jumping on me and I. <laughs> okay, stay in there. Yeah. Uh, if you want to jump, jump. Just go jump to the teller and come get me out of here. God created man in his image and in his likeness. God desired to have a man who would be perfect and sinless. Who would live in harmony with him. He created a man who would be submissive. He created a man who would be submissive. Yes. To him and would give him pure praise and worship. Yes. Yes. Tell somebody that's what God requires, that's what God requires. Of, you. of you. Of me. Mm -hmm. Somebody that would be submissive to him mm -hmm. and would give him praise. Pure praise and worship. Yeah, yeah. Uh, y'all ain't gonna dance tonight. You, you don't need to. <laughs> you don't need to dance. This what you when you live like this, you have a dance. Yeah. Come on. You don't need to, hey, I hear him again. I don't need you buck jumping. <laughs> you don't need you buck jumping with hell in you. Mm. Buck jumping with wickedness in you. Oh, what? Good. What is that? Mm. Let it be pure. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Let it be sincere. Yes, sir. Don't let it be hypocritical. No. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. When Adam sinned, mm -hmm. when Adam sinned, okay. his he, he disobeyed God's rules. And cause mankind to be in rebellion against God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish I had a mirror. I tell you, look yes, in the mirror and say, Adam did that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adam did that. Messed us up. Yeah. Just messed us up. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? You can't stay there. No. Because God. It's in his own and big God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Straighten that stuff out. Yes, Thank yes. you, Jesus. And guess what? We still are rebellion against his word. Right. Yes. Ain't that so? Yes. 
and he keep putting up with us. Time after time again, day in and day out. Ain't even trying to get better. We let leaders tell us that uh, you just got to sin every single day. Yeah, they tell you that. They said sin is in you, so you got to sin every day. Well, I read when he washed you. All right, all right. Yeah. When he purged you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he make you clean. Yeah. Come on. Guess what? Sin is no more in. No more in. Because God don't dwell in. No, he doesn't. An unclean. Yeah. No, he don't. No, he don't. You got a dirty mind. And you gonna tell me God is in there? Help us, oh God! God ain't in your mind. Help me, Lord. God ain't in my mind if I got a nasty mind. I don't care what nobody says. That's right. Don't let nobody fool y'all. God is not in you when you are wicked. Come on. He's angry with you. But yet and still, He allows you to wake up the next morning. Wow. He's a good God. Yes. Man. Okay, God rules all mankind to be in rebellion against uh his his dis he disobeyed God's rules and caused mankind to be in rebellion against God. God loved man and loved man. But the disobedience of man Cause God's anger to be kindled against him. Yes. Yeah. Disobedience will cause God's anger to be kindled against me, yes. against you, yes. against us. What will cause God to be angry with us? Yes. That's a question to declare. Yes. What will cause God to be angry with us? Disobedience. 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 Y'all right. know what y'all be doing. Yeah. We be doing disobeying. Hmm. And then want a good God to just shower blessings on us hmm. for doing wrong. Hmm. Okay, we move on, y'all. Getting a little stiff on <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but the disobedient man calls God's anger to be kindled against him. Man's disobedient showed man. Hatred and disdain for God and his laws. Psalms, uh, Psalm number 10 talks about the, the action of the wicked. David tells how uh, ruthless and unjust they are. He said it seems like they ignore God and get away with it. It seemed, David said, it seemed like they ignore God and get away with it. Come on. Okay, can I make that plain? Now, we're going to be gone soon. But I feel you being getting real All uneasy. Right. All right. So these kind of <laughs> lessons make you like be twitching in your seat. You, you make preach you like you, you, preach you, you, you ain't drunk water all day, but now you got to go ahead. <laughs> You're preaching, Pastor. <laughs> It just, it just does something to you. you know? But let it work on you. Yes, Lord. And you'll see what it do to you. Yes, Lord. It'll make you clean inside. Yes. Clean me, Lord. Okay. Uh, yeah, God's anger is kindled <laughs> against him. And uh, he said, David said, it seems like they ignore God and get away with it. Have y'all ever seen anybody like that? We said, man. They're not obeying. That's what they're doing. They, they done got away with it. They ain't got away with it. So all them times. Here it is. This is what people don't like. The Bible said whatsoever. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever a man soweth. That shall he also reap. So whatever you sow, guess what? It's coming back before you die. Yes. Nobody reap in the grave. You don't know it. The dead know it 
into our path. Our path. That's the examination. Mm -hmm. We're taking the exam right now. God take, giving us an exam. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. Uh, the Lord looks at the righteous and the wicked, and he will examine each one of them. And uh, when he is ready, and when he is ready, he will rain down. And when he is ready. Come on. He will rain down blazing coals and burning sulfur on the wicked, uh, punishing them with scorching wind. Mm. Yes. Isaiah said that the wicked are like the troubled sea when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. God said that there is no peace for the wicked. There is no peace for the wicked. The wicked constantly do and say things that bring hurt and harm to others. That's what wicked folk do. Go to your job. You've got a job full of wicked folk. And all they want to do is bring hurt and harm to others. The believers must remember that God loves the sinners. Did y'all hear that? Amen. Yes. God loves the sinners. But, somebody said but. 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 Oh, here we go. Finish it out. All right. Oh, here we yeah. go. Come on, man. He loves you, sinner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah when, we're, when we were yet sinners. Yes. He said, it's only begotten son. Yeah. Yeah. God loves sinners, but He hates their sin. Yeah. Yeah. God loves sinners, but He hates the sin that sinners do. Right. Yeah. God don't love or like what sinners do. Yeah. He allows the wicked to fall by His wickedness. When the wicked dies, his expectation perish. Mm -hmm. It's over. For the wicked works will not stand. Mm -hmm. For they are a deceitful work. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 11 and 18. The wicked knows that his works are not right. Mm -hmm. So his expectation is the wrath of God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we wonder how come so much God allow? How come God allow this? How come God allow that? How, how can we always try to question about what God is allowing instead of examining yourself and see what you allow? I'm preaching. Right. You teach me nightmares. What, what's the problem with us? We expect everything G O O D from God. Yes. And we do everything B-A-D. And want him to keep doing G-O-O-D for us. It don't work like that. No, it no. no. He's a good God. He is. But why are you so bad? Come on. Right. And want stuff from a good God. Okay. The wicked knows that his works are not right. The wicked knows that his works are not right. He, he, they, the wicked folk know what they're doing is wrong. Right. But all they want is to get some more wicked folks with them. Mm -hmm. To make it seem like they're the way that seem is right. Mm -hmm. Unto man. Yeah. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Yeah. So his expectations is the wrath of God. Uh, verse 23. God said that the wicked comes among his people. God said that the wicked comes among his people. But they always have negative agendas. <laughs> negative agendas. They are always seeking ways to harm and hurt others. God lets 
the believers know that he permits did y'all hear that? Permits. Permits. He permits the wicked to be wicked. Come on. Mm. I don't know why they ain't doing it. I know why. Because God allowed it to happen. That's right. That's right. But, uh oh, here we go again. It ain't over. All right. Yeah, God says so. But he does not like it. He permits the wicked to be wicked, but he don't like it. Jeremiah 5 and 26. The believers must let their confidence be in God. Believers, let your confidence be in God and forget and be in God and forget about the people. Yes. Relationship, the job, the world news, the current affairs, injustice, uh, deeds of wicked. And all other things that are out of his control. Let God have his business. All right. Let God have his business. Yeah. In other words, that wickedness, that wicked person, God is going to get to him. Amen. But don't you lose out with God talking about to him. Getting stressed out about him. You teach it. Getting discouraged about him. Help me, Lord. When God is in control. Help me, Lord. Can I help us again? Yeah. It's yeah. not what the wicked do to me. Yeah. The problem is what I do back to the wicked. Yeah. The problem is how I respond to that wicked. Yeah. Help me, Lord. We need to, to develop a strong prayer life. Yes, sir. So when the wicked shows up, All right. put prayer on it behind yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, that prayer get it. They'll wonder how come this happened? How come that happened? How that, because you wicked and you fallen by your wickedness. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the prayers of the righteous. Y'all yeah. need to talk back to me. Yeah. Yeah. Believers, hold on. Just want to tell you tonight, God see them wicked folk in your life. Yes. He see that manipulated spirit whispering in your ear all the time trying to get your mind to keep you not uh, really going full force for him. Come on. Want to keep you at bay in your mind. Come on. You got a lot of church folks locked up. And they ain't across the bridge. Mm. They're not up north. Come on. They're in places like this. With mines and cages. Come on. Mm. You teach him. You teach him. Saying God is God is the center of my joy. But time to leave out of here or wicked somebody get in their ear. Come on. And you know what a wicked person will do? Act like they love you. So Y'all ain't ready for this tonight. Hey. I am because he feeding it to me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. Act like you love me. Mm. Just to get close to you to take you down. Mm. Wow. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna move on. The believers must let their confidence be in God. Mm -hmm. Let your confidence be in God. I'm going to say that about three times. Believer, yeah. let your confidence be in God. Yeah, yeah. Believers, yeah. let your confidence be in God. Yeah, yeah. Believers, yeah. let your confidence be in God. Yeah, yeah. Not the people. God is the one that's going to bring us or brought them across the Red Sea yeah, and going to yeah. take us across the river we're trying to get across. Yeah. I do it with God. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let God handle his business. Mm -hmm. This is still his work. Mm -hmm. And he knows how to handle the wickedness of this world. The word of God reminds the believer that.
that the wicked shall be turned into hell and every nation that forget God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, my brothers and sisters, the believers wonder why uh, some nations suffer so much and seemingly others prosper. Mm -hmm. Come on. One has to consider who is leading the country. Are they doing or permitting wickedness to reign in that country? Are they promoting or endorsing wickedness? The whole country went down. I wonder why. I wonder why. Well, I know it's a lot of wickedness in that city, that little city, Ben Hall. Come on. A lot of wicked stuff going on there. But guess what? It's some righteous folks in there. Yes. I'm talking about in this city. Yes. So guess what? Can I tell you something? The whole city can't go now. Amen. <laughs> some of y'all are still surviving because of the righteous that's around you. Come on. Amen. That's right. Amen. If it was like Sodom and Gomorrah, the whole city so. go down. But it's some righteous folks in the city. Yes, Lord. It might be some old righteous folks where you live at. I don't know. But I know some righteous folks somewhere else. Yes. 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 Amen. Yeah. Sometimes believers wonder what's going on with these nations. One has to consider, yes. Uh, are they doing or permitting wickedness in the, to reign in that country? Uh, are they promoting or endorsing wickedness? Are believers, are believers allowed to worship God freely? A lot of nations go down because they're not allowed to worship God in that country, in that city. And so guess what's going to happen? It's going down. Believers must. Believers must remember uh, that God is a God of love. Yeah, yeah. God is a God of love. But, here you go, but again. There's my watch out for that but. Watch out for that but. That but don't bring you something else. Come on. But he also, he is also a God of wrath. Yes, he is. God is a God of love, but he also is a God of wrath. Yes. He is a jealous God. Yes. Who will allow other gods to leave for only so long. I told you. You get up for a minute. Amen. You'll be operating your agenda for a minute. But guess what? You're going down. Yeah. So uh, righteousness exalts a nation. Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin S I E. Sin is a reproach to any nation. Proverbs 14 and 34. Sin is a reproach to any nation. Here it is. Here's the breakdown on it. Sin is a reproach to any people. Because a nation is not a nation without people. You've never seen a nation full of bricks. Hmm. That's a nation over there. Ain't nobody over there. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. A living God. You know the God that uh, Elijah said, uh, told them, y'all go ahead and build an altar. You, you, you know the one that 
He said, and y'all go first, and the God that answered by fire, let him be God. Yeah. That's a living God. Yes. That's a living God. Yes. Amen. Amen. And then they prayed to they God, and they God might have been on a journey somewhere. And they, they couldn't get no answer from him. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's, that wasn't a living God. Right. The God that answered by fire. All right. That's a living God. Yeah. Yes. The God that's going to come to your rescue. All right. Yeah. That's the living God. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, when someone is angry with another person, they want nothing to do with the person they are angry with. Have y'all noticed that? Yeah. Right now, some of y'all get mad with me, and I won't hear from you for a few days until you make up a lie and say you were busy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> or something happened. I, I know what's something wrong with you. Come on. Yeah. I know what's wrong with you. You know what happened to me the other day? I'm going to say it like this. We got a few minutes. We're getting ready to get out of here. Uh, I was driving a truck, my truck. And and uh, all of a sudden, they, my wife, I don't know, I know she wasn't, she, I know that she had the one. We were just coming from the hospital. Sun, was it Sunday? I don't know. We went to see somebody at the hospital. When I came back, that's when it was Sunday. Sunday morning, we went to see Lady Reed. And I got there on, on Napier. And something slapped me in my neck. Mm. I said, ah! Just like that. And I, I got past the church up there, and I had to turn on Columbus right there to jump out the car. Guess what happened? A bee stung me right in my neck. Mm. Sting was still in there. But he was still living in the car trying to kill me. So he went to walk and I told my wife, she was, oh, oh. I said, don't worry. He ain't got but one sting. Mm. I got it. He can't sting nobody else. So he crawled all he wanted. But I was upset with him, so I went back out there and tried to find him. <laughs> <laughs> he stole me right by side. I said all that to say this. When you don't show back up for some days, you've been stunned. Come on. <laughs> and guess what? The stinger is still in And the well the older people said, I think Mother Trumbull or somebody, they had they had different stuff that they put on beast stings. And and they say, I think somebody said lemon juice or something. You put it on, it draws the sting out. There's certain things you can use. Baking soda. Baking soda, yeah, get that sting out of there. <laughs> but the sting of that being us, you got to come back to church. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> you got to come back to the place. <laughs> we got stung here. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you can't go to the mercy room. Yes, Lord. You know why? That ain't where you got stung at. <laughs> Go back to that place. I, I, I pulled over right away. <sighs> that thing swelled, swole up so big. I still feel I didn't get it out. I just keep putting alcohol on it and keep putting blessed oil on it. I won't be all right. Because I'm getting doctored on it. Come on. When you get stung by the word, go back and get some more word. Y'all yeah. Yes, Lord. Right. Help us, Pastor. Go back and get Help some me. more word. Yeah. Help me. Thank you, Lord. Get that sting out of you. Yeah. Because the word comes to heal. Yeah. It comes to help you. Yeah. It ain't going to make you feel comfortable, especially if you ain't there. Come on. You're going to be uncomfortable. I'm going to let you go in about five minutes. Eight o'clock, we'll be done because you're uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Usually when somebody is angry with another person, they want nothing to do with the person they are angry with. But that is not the case with God. When Adam sinned, he calls condemnation for all men. But God allowed Jesus one act of righteousness to provide justification 
and life for all men by the acts of the man Adam. All men were made sinners and by uh, the obedience of the one man, Jesus Christ, all men came, uh, can be made righteous if, somebody said if, yeah. if, if they will turn to Christ in faith yeah. and repentance. Yeah. Yeah. You got that stinger in you? Come back. Repent. Mm -hmm. yeah. Repentance and get that sting out of it. I didn't like it, but I'm here again, God. Give me some more. Yeah. Y'all ain't on me. Yes, Lord. Thank God for His mercy. Yeah. Thank God for His grace. Thank God for His mercy. Thank God for His grace. For when His anger was hot against Israel, he delivered them into the hands of spoilers and that spoiled them and sold them into the hands of their enemy. Judges 2 and 14. It is important uh, that, the, that the believers remember God and always honor him. Remember God and always honor him because he does not want the anger of God of God directed toward him. Right. You don't want God's anger. So stop being wicked. Yeah, yeah. Stop being wicked. God suddenly said God is angry with the wicked. Remember my brothers and sisters to Think positive. Be positive. Yes. Walk in positivity. Mm -hmm. Stay away from negativity mm -hmm. and negative people. That's right. Keep the prayer wheel turning mm -hmm. and be blessed. Yes.